Hi, welcome to Colorado City, Texas, and cooking with DeVell and DeWitt. Today we're going to make some yummy shrimp quesadillas with the mango chipotle salsa. And that's because we love our Mexican food in Texas. Now at home you're probably thinking, what you been doing all week, DeVell? Well, truth be told, I've been looking for a job. You know, it's hard right now with COVID and all, but I got a good tip when I watched the news the other day. They were talking about that Congressman Matt Gates from Florida. You know, about him and his lady friends. Well, they mentioned they met on a website called Seeking.com. Here, let me show you. Here's a nice older man, and here's a pretty girl who just got out of high school. But you're saying, Develva, how is this a job? The sugar daddy is someone who promises to be generous when it comes to supporting a sugar baby. And a sugar baby, she gets exotic trips, gifts, and gets to experience a luxurious lifestyle. Now, Develva would like a little bit of that. I'm just plain tuckered out like most women my age, and pampering sounds a lot better than standing on my feet for $7.25 an hour. Sugar babies don't collect money, but they get apartments and brand new clothes, even education. Like when Mr. Gates paid a girl with tuition in school. Oh, bless his little heart. He was just trying to make her life better. Babies, it tells all about them right here. And you know what? It talks about traditional values, like a man being able to be the provider, which is real important. And you know what? Develva learned a new word. It's called hypergamy. She never heard that word before, but it's the action of marrying a person of a superior class or caste. Now, I'll let you think about that for a minute while we go back to our cooking class. Okay, we'll get back to my story in a minute. But first, let's make our salsa, because if we don't do it, you know DeVelva, she'll talk your ear off. Our salsa recipe is real simple. We're just gonna need a mango, then we have our chipotle chili, we got our scallions, cilantro, and this lovely kefir. Now watch what DeVelva does with her mango. She's gonna cut it at the top 45 degrees and she's gonna skin it down just like that, like a filet. Then we're gonna score it like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to score it the other way and then we're going to take it and we're going to empty it into our bowl. Did you see what I did? Now look what I did and how pretty that is, right? And so in my bowl, what I'm going to do is this. Okay, we're going to do this. And then I'm going to do it a little bit, halfway down. And then I'm going to do it all the way down. And this way we're going to get all of our mango or nice little pieces. Okay, now let's slice our chipotle chili. We're going to go down the middle just like that. And then we're going to scrape out the seeds. So anyway, back to my story. You know, I thought maybe Develva could be a sugar baby. At least get, took it back on my feet. I'll be working as an escort. You know, escorting gentlemen to ball games. Maybe escorting them to the church social. And of course, dinner so they don't have to eat alone. Men prefer being with a lady like DeVelva, taking her out and showing her off. They get so proud, they grow a little taller. Okay, so now we're gonna mince this up, and then we're gonna add it to our herbs and to our uh, mango. So anyway, I have the right qualifications to be a sugar baby. They said they were looking for ladies with exquisite taste. And you know that I have exquisite taste. You've seen my decorating tips and my outfits. They said they wanted their ladies to be ambitious. And of course, you know I am. Started my own cooking show, right? They also said they would find someone to invest in my future. And that's what I need right now. Especially getting my show going and all. Such a nice group of big-hearted men, right? Okay, now the last thing we're going to do is we're going to take our key lime and we're going to squeeze that into our salsa. I'd be perfect for that job, right? That's what I thought, you know? So I submitted my application. I sent in my photos, posing just like all those other girls. Okay, let me show you. Some of them pose showing their body but covering their face. Makes no sense, right? That's why DeVelva made a picture of her true self. See, this is how you attract a sugar daddy, by showing him how special you are. 
Okay, let's finish our recipe. Now here are the ingredients for our quesadillas. We have slivers of red onion right here. We have our shrimp, but they're in the refrigerator. Then we got all of our nice clean spinach right here, chopped and ready to go. Got my red bell pepper, my corn tortillas, and I got some cheese and a little bit of Worcestershire sauce that we're gonna put in just a few drops. Now, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our red bell pepper and we're gonna cook it over here. Come on, Jesus, let's show them. Now, what you wanna do is roast your pepper over the open gas flame. Now if you don't have gas, you can also use your broiler. So I'm going to turn this around to the black heads, right? You can see this right now. It's getting nice and charred. And then when it's ready, you know what we're going to do? We're going to take our chili and we're going to take it and we're going to drop it right inside our bowl. And then we're going to cover it and sweat it until it's ready. So I'll be escorting them to the men's warehouse to pick out a new suit. And then I'll be escorting them to the doctor's office for their colonoscopy. And then I'll be escorting them on vacation, you know, to visit the grandkids. After your pepper sweat for about 30 minutes, you take your fingers and you clean it off. Now you don't want to do this under water because then it washes away all the flavor. Oh, looky here, I got a visitor. Hello, Puddin', what you doing? Mama's cooking, sweetheart. Sweetie, you shouldn't be doing this. Okay, baby, Mama's gonna clean your chili. Now anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut my pepper all the way down. Now, sweetie, you get away now. And Mama's gonna cut it all the way down. And you don't wanna eat this. Funny, you don't wanna be eating this. And you're just gonna cut this away. And then I need really thin strips. So I'm gonna take my seeds out, just like that. And then I'm gonna take my uh, pepper like this. And I'm just gonna cut really thin strips, okay? Our onions are getting nice and caramelized and soft. It's been about four minutes. So now I'm gonna put my shrimp in. And we're gonna cook these down about two or three more minutes, okay? I got one minute, so while my shrimp is cooking, I got time to do some exercise. So we're gonna do some body firmers, just like this. Now watch, and we're gonna go one, two, three. Then we're gonna come up and we're gonna stir, her, okay? And then we get our spinach in. And while our spinach is cooking down with our shrimp, we gotta go and do the other side. So here we go, and we're gonna do one, two, got our feeling ready. We got our shrimp and we got it with spinach and we got red bell pepper and we got some of our red onion right there ready to go. Here's our tortillas and we're heating them up on the cold mile. And what we're gonna do is put a little cheese right here. We're gonna put this in, okay? And then I'm gonna put my feeling on. Now I wanna beat about three shrimp, okay? We're gonna put this on and then let's count our shrimp. One, two, and then let's go three, and then we're just gonna take this and turn it over, and we're gonna let it cook on both sides until it's nice and toasty. There we go. Oh Lord, the is making a mess again. She always makes a mess in the kitchen. Now while we're cooking, we have time for entertainment tips. Okay, today we're gonna to talk about centerpieces for your dinner parties and the best way to repurpose your pizza boxes because Develva believes in recycling. So looky here. What you can do is take your pizza box and you wrap it in pretty colored tissue paper like this. Now you see these grease stains? They're good because now it looks like marbling. You know, it looks fancier that way. And if you have two boxes, you can have two different colors, right? This is prettier than a pan pod, huh? Our table is ready, and now I'm gonna put some salsa on my quesadilla, and I'm gonna try it, okay? Now, this is kinda messy, but I'm trying to do it right. This is our pretty salsa, take a look. We're gonna spoon some inside, just like this, and then we're gonna pick up our quesadilla, and we're gonna take a little bite. Mmm, mmm. I sure like good Mexican food, don't you? Okay, now this is a lot for Develva to eat, so I was thinking we can go out to the shed and I could give some to D. Wade. He's always just sitting there, you know, just looking out, nothing, thinking. So, come on, come with me, let's go. You know, I've been thinking about our situation. You don't have a job, I don't have a job, and if they won't let me be a sugar baby, I just don't know what we're gonna do. Well, 
Let's see. Maybe, uh... Why? Why? Remember on TV we saw those Mexicans at the border? What if they're leaving perfectly good jobs behind? I bet Mexico has labor shortage by now. <laughs> you thinking we should cross the border to look for work? Yeah, it makes sense, right? We should go before everyone else figures it out. Like Jesus. We'll go across the holy water, the Rio Grande. That's how you did it, right? Yeah, but didn't you walk through the desert for five days? <laughs> Can't we just call United? No, Jesus said that's not how it works. We're going to be illegal. We just can't get on an airplane. You know, you want a good job, right? Yeah, well, okay, maybe we should try. It would be good exercise, and you sure like that exercising. Hey, Jesus, what do you think? You want to come with us? See, Wade and I are practicing our high school musical. It's what we do in the afternoon because we've got nothing else to do. If you want to stay and watch us, you can. Okay, West Side Story. I'm a Chad. He's a shark. Okay, I'll see you next week for cooking with Develva DeWitt. Y'all come back now, you hear? Well, something good coming from that store. I can smell something good coming from that store. Well, it's wafting up my nostril, rising from the floor. I can smell something good coming from next door. I can smell something good coming. Dave Elva do it, Dave Elva do it. What you got cooking? Cooking in the kitchen today. Dave Elva do it, Dave Elva do it. I can't wait for what you're gonna show today. Have you got all your hair? Have you got that makeup all over your face? All over your face. Do you feel able to win? You know, I sure like good cooking.